Glenn has to ask himself, is, he, is remaining in position as speaker the best thing for the state? For the first time, we are hearing from former Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam about the controversy surrounding State House Speaker Glenn Cassida. Cassida is facing several allegations, including sending sexist texts and listening in on private meetings. 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes joins us with more from Governor Haslam, who says this should be a moment of self-reflection for the speaker and what is best for the state. Stephanie. Robin and John, that's right. The former governor didn't outright say resign or step down, as some state lawmakers have been saying for the past few days now. But Haslam did say he can't see how Cassida keeping the role would be good for the state. Former Governor Bill Haslam has been out of office for four months, but he offered his opinion about the controversy surrounding House Speaker Glenn Cassida. I think when any of us serve in public office, um, we're doing it because we think it's the best thing for the state. Um, and I think Glenn has to ask himself, is, he, is remaining in position as speaker the best thing for the state? It's hard for me to see how that would be true. Speaker Cassida faces several allegations, including that he sent sexist texts and listened in on private conversations. His chief of staff resigned a few weeks ago after allegations that he sent racist texts. Last week, two top East Tennessee lawmakers, including Representative Bill Dunn and Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally, called for the speaker's resignation. And so far, Cassida hasn't listened. We caught up with the lieutenant governor again on Wednesday. You know, he seems pretty intent, I think, on staying in office. House Republicans say they will meet on Monday to discuss the confidence in Cassida. I would hope that either before they vote that he sees the writing on the wall. House Majority Leader William Lamberth spoke with WSMB in Nashville on Tuesday. He says he first wants to hear input from his fellow lawmakers. I think it's important that I listen to all of our caucus members, that I determine what they feel about this situation, and then go forward as a team. That meeting that's scheduled for Monday, that's closed to the public. And if Cassidy steps down, Representative Dunn would take over as House Speaker. Robin and John. Stephanie Haynes bringing us up to date. Thank you.